Next question was from Jessica Yellen of CNN. She said, top Democrats said that um, Republicans in a similar issue are engaged in a war on women. Some top Republicans say it's more like Democrats are engaged in a war for the women's vote. Now, as you talk about loose talk of war in another arena and women, this could raise concerns among women. Do you agree with the chair of the DNC that there's a war on women? One of the things I've learned being married to Michelle is I don't need to tell her what it is that she thinks is important. There are millions of strong women around the country uh, who are going to make their own determination about a whole range of issues. It's not going to be narrowly focused just on contraception. Uh, it's not going to be driven by one statement by one radio announcer. It is going to be driven by their view of what's most likely to make sure they can help support their families, make their mortgage payments, who's got a plan to ensure that middle class families are secure over the long term, what's most likely to result in their kids being able to get the education they need to compete. So that's a long, drifting, uh, incoherent uh, so called before the Democrat subcommittee was to take away and distract from the real issue that Daryl Issa's committee was looking into, which is, does the president have the constitutional authority to demand and mandate that Catholic universities or churches or schools provide not just contraception, but other medication that facilitates abortions taking place or that causes them to happen. Does he have the right to mandate that? That was the original purpose of ISIS hearing. And they had a witness lined up for this hearing, Barry Lynn. And at 4.30 in the afternoon, they canceled. The Democrats pulled Barry Lynn out and said that they wanted Sandra Fluke to show up instead. And ISIS said, who's this? We don't know who she is. We she don't have any expertise. There was there's a 72-hour vet rule. You got 72 hours to figure out who their witnesses are to see if they're qualified. Democrats didn't want that to happen. Well, I don't know why. I don't know what they didn't want the Republicans to learn about Sandra Fluke, but they didn't want them to learn something. Or maybe it was just that they wanted to spring this on them and try to uh, twist them in tails. And ISA stood firm and said, sorry. So the Democrats staged a press conference made to look like a congressional hearing. And the whole purpose was to change the subject from Obama's mandating anti-constitutionally that insurance companies or churches provide free of charge contraception and abortive fashions. They had to desperately change the subject. They changed the subject to contraception. And how supposedly the Republicans are opposed to it. And thus the war on women. I've always thought in circumstances like this, where's the logic? At what, at what point does the logic occur to people? Hey, here's the Republican Party, and they have as their objective winning elections. And they don't want just men. They need votes from as many people as they can get. What is the point? in having a war on half or over half of the voters. What's the point in telling them you don't want their votes? In fact, folks, if I could be honest with you, it's the, it's the Obama administration which is telling groups of Americans they're not interested in their votes. And one group is white working families. They used to be called Reagan Democrats. Thomas Edsel, who used to write in the Washington Post, wrote a piece in the New York Times uh, months ago now. Laying out Obama's re-election strategy, and one of the things that he made the point was that we've lost white working class voters. That's not an area we're going to focus on. The Republican Party doesn't write off anybody. The Republican Party, my gosh, does everything it can. It doesn't know how, but it tries every way it can to get women vote, Hispanic vote, black vote, minority vote. It's doing everything it can. They just don't know how to do it. But they're out there trying all the time. It's the Democrats who alienate voting groups. But the way it ends up being reported is, all that has to happen is Obama, the Democrats, assert that there is a war on women, and the press is right there with its New York, Washington bubble to pick up the, the, the theme. Ooh, Republicans, a war on women against contraception. 
Republicans want women living in the Stone Age. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it, when you want their votes? No, it makes no sense whatsoever. But that's all Obama's got. He cannot tout his record because it's shameful. It is abysmal, his record, what he has done to this country. He cannot run on it.